welcome back to our channel. So usually it's May and Lucy, um, but today I am finally gonna film this. Um, we haven't been on YouTube for like a couple of months. Um, we will be explaining a little bit more as to why, but I mean, I guess I could guys give you guys a little explanation. Right now, it's just a lot going on. Um, a lot has been going on, and you guys, as far as you guys, you know, everybody should know, like there's a lot going on in the world right now, and I don't know, to be honest, it's kind of been here and there, and you know, me and Nay have talked about, you know, obviously our priorities are, you know, sometimes we have to put YouTube to the side, I keep, I know, I keep saying, you know, you know, but like, we have to put other things as our priority before this, sadly, um, but we are back on here, and we are dedicated, and um, I decided to start with this video only because it's been a long time that me and they have talked about it and I mentioned it and I'm like, oh, like I want to talk about my coming out story to you guys. I want you guys to get to know me a little bit on a more like deep level because I don't really like go deep, deep. So we're starting off with a deep, my coming out story, guys. And um, it may be different for everybody else, but this is just my experience and it's, it's just crazy, you know, how... I don't know the whole thing is crazy but i'm gonna try to like you know try to go along the right path and explain to you guys um like very in detail about you know i really feel weird <laughs> recording by myself but um babes at work and i'm like might as well you know do your little your version of your coming out story and you know um later on she's gonna do her version of her coming out you know we we each experience our own like individual experience and everybody has a different experience and so i just wanted to share my experience you know and hopefully it helps somebody out there that needs to come out or you know is in the process of coming out or every day somebody comes out you know everybody every day somebody comes out of the closet and it's not always the best reaction you, that you receive from people, you know? And I just don't want you guys to feel alone because I know that when I was coming out, I was very young and I did feel alone. I felt like nobody was really understanding me, you know? But let's just get into the story, guys. Don't forget to like this video. Go ahead and subscribe to our channel. We are back, guys. Um, sorry for being gone for actually a while. We barely started up our channel, but I appreciate the supporters that have been watching all our videos and just know that we appreciate you guys and we're here, you know, and I just want to spread positivity. I know that everybody is like supposed to stay home and it's so hard, like honestly, even though like it's my days off and stuff like that, I love to be outside. So it's really, really been really hard these past few days. So I hope that it's going good for everybody. I definitely recommend like reading a book and like you know doing whatever you think relaxes you working out seems to help too but all right so <clears throat> i'm gonna get into the story guys so I'm into the story into story time so you know go ahead and grab your snacks your drinks this is my favorite drink you guys it's thai tea may put me on i really used to hate it and now i just love it it's like i'm obsessed but anyways let's get into the story okay so I was about 16. I was going to turn 17, I believe. Yeah, I was 16. I was going to turn 17. And, you know, for me, you know, it started off as being best friends. So in my neighborhood where I grew up, um, which is kind of close to where I live now, but like where I grew up, uh, I used to hang out with like a group of people and I'm all, not gonna mention names. I'm just gonna be like I'm just gonna make up a name for them because I don't want to name like name anybody, you know, it's the past It's whatever but um, I'm not gonna name names because they're in relationships now and like I don't want to be disrespectful to anybody and whatever Okay, so basically I'm just gonna call her I don't know L okay, I'm just gonna go with L okay, that's whatever okay so um l and me were best friends and i used to hang out in the neighborhood with all our friends all the time and we were friends okay that's how i viewed it i would hang out with this with l every single day and we would just have the greatest time we we're really friends you know and it was always a group of people that would hang out and just me and her you know just chilling and i remember hanging out with her after a while um I kind of started feeling some type of way about it, but deep inside, like me, being me and raised how I was, 
I was like, I dismissed the feeling. I dismissed the thought of it. I just put it to the back of my head and I was like, oh, you're tripping. You just love her because she's your friend. You love her as a friend, you know? And that's just what it was. And so, you know, we started getting closer and just being friends and hanging out every day and creating that bond. And mind you, before that, I really never, like I had little, you know, that I'm going to talk about, like little like moments where I would be like, what the fuck? And sorry for my language, but I would be like, what? Like, sorry, that was my air freshener. <laughs> but I'm just like, what is going on? Like, you know, and I remember that I was really scared. And it's crazy because as time went by, um, me and Elle got super, super close. And I remember that's when AIM used to be popping. I think that's what it's called. it was called, AIM. Like the little, like... Uh, chat thing that used to like the app and used to, I think it was aim right aim is it am I right I don't even know and um I think it was aim that's what it was called right I just really want to know now but yeah so we started talking one night on that app and I don't know what it was in me I think honestly I had finally accepted that I like this person you know L and I was like oh my god like what the heck like how could I like a girl how could I I was just like what like I'm like but I do like and I'm like I was just feeling all kinds of fear honestly and just emotions everywhere because I didn't know how to feel I was just like am I like tripping like am I like what is this okay so as I was saying when one night we were talking on AIM and I don't know what it was but I knew that I had to tell her so I started hinting to her that um, like I would throw little hints in like, oh, I feel some type of way, but I don't know if you feel the same way. Like, I don't know. I just started like basically telling the, the girl that I liked her, but in like a, that little kid way. And it was crazy because she replied, um, if I remember correctly, she replied and she said, I think I know what you're talking about. And I think I feel the same way for you. And so that even threw me off. And she was like, tell me, tell me what you want to tell me. And like, we were talking on the conversation and I finally just said it. And I was so scared. I've never been this scared in my life, but I was so scared. And I was like, and I just told her, I was just like, I like you. Like, I've never been attracted to a female like before. And I'm like blown away. Like, I didn't know what to say. I was like, I'm scared that, you know, I feel for you and you're not going to feel like this for me. Like, you get what I'm saying? Like, it's, it was so scary. And sorry, guys, my hair is like over here. And like, she replied to me, right? And I was so scared to open the, the freaking message. And I was just like, oh my God, I'm so scared. I'm so scared. And so I finally opened it and it said that she felt the same way for me. So we started talking about it and we had like, we stayed up till very late talking about our feelings. And I remember that I was just like, like, I couldn't believe it. I was just like, not only do I just, like, I finally accepted that I like this girl and like to have her like me back because she was, she didn't date girls either. Like she, she was kind of like, like you could she was kind of more on the tomboyish side that i was like i was more on the girly side and she was more on the tomboy like she she like skateboarding and stuff like that like but you can kind of get like you would you would guess that she was like you'd be like you could take a guess and be like oh maybe she is like but then me it was like oh like what you like you're just so girly etc right so point is that it was so crazy to me that she liked me back and after that, I remember the next day we ran, like we saw each other, because mind you, we used to hang out, we were best friends. And so we saw each other and it was so weird. Like I felt so embarrassed and it was just weird, but we hugged each other and we acted like everything was normal because nobody around, like all our friends, nobody knew, okay? So only me and her knew that we liked each other. And mind you, like now that I'm saying this, a lot of people are gonna be finding out for the first time ever that we were even together for a while before anybody even had an idea. So <clears throat> finally, um, after me and her had established that I liked her and she liked me, um, I came out to my closest friends. Um, at that time, you know, my best friend and like people around me, and I came out to my sister and she is two years older than me. And um, 
I remember coming out to my best friend and I was in the bathroom and I had just texted her and I told her like, I hope that you still want to be my best friend. Like I, but like, I like girls and like, I just, you know, and I was just telling her and I remember she replied like <laughs> the best reply I could ever receive. And she was just like, I love you no matter what, like you're my best friend and, and all this stuff. And it was just like, at that moment, I felt like, oh my God. Like I can breathe like to a certain extent because at least my best friend like accepted me and I was so scared because I was just like, is she gonna think that, is she gonna think I'm weird? Is she gonna think like, oh, like we used to get undressed around each other like and you know, be getting, taking pictures and like, not like naked pictures, but I'm saying like pictures together and getting dressed together and we were just best friends. And, and I was just like, oh, is she gonna think that I like her in that way? Like, is she gonna think that I'm a weirdo for not telling her before that I was attracted to girls? Like I was just really scared, but she had the best reaction ever. And I thank her for that. And she's still in my life today, you know? And it's crazy that that fear that I had. And I remember sitting in the bathroom being so scared to tell her. And after that, I was just like, oh my God. But um, it kind of turned a little bit for me. Um, once I came out to my sister so she was the first person that I told because I was really scared but I was just like I just need to come out and say it and I remember being in the room one time with her and we were just like watching tv or something and I told her like oh I have to tell you something and I remember that I just said like I like girls and like I like this girl and like and she just kind of like looked at me and she didn't really take it like she didn't really know what to say we were young okay and yeah she's two years older than me you know but like she didn't really know what to say and she kind of just said like what like and she was just like that's crazy like and she didn't really have a negative reaction as far as i remember at that moment and so i don't remember if me and her got into a fight or an argument days went by and to be honest with you i was so freaking scared to tell my mom and my dad that i was gay um i was like Oh my god, it was so scary for me to say anything. So I remember one day, I don't remember if we got in an argument. I think we did. I think I pissed her off. And mind you, she knew and she was the only one that knew that I was gay. So I think we argued one time. I think that's what it was because I know I made her pissed off. I pissed her off is what I mean. But like, I made her pissed off. But yeah, I pissed her off. And then I remember I came home from school one day and my dad was sitting right there on the table eating, you know, my mom was like heating up his tortillas as he always does, like she always had dinner for him whenever he got home from work. And so she was heating up the tortillas and my dad calls me, hold on, my mom's gonna come into the bathroom and interrupt me because she's gonna wanna know what I'm doing. Watch, she's in there. Oh, she didn't say anything. I think she heard me on, like talking and she just looked. Okay, but back to the story. So, um. I came home and you know they were just sitting right there and my dad calls me and he's like oh Lucy come here and then I'm like okay like and I'm not thinking anything about it like whatever right so I'm like what's up and then so I sit down and then like they were really serious and I was like it didn't come to my head that that's what it was so I just I'm sitting there and then he's like oh he's like is there anything that you want to tell us that's what he said and I was just like immediately like as soon as he said that i just started crying and i was just sitting on the table looking down like this and just bawling my eyes out just crying 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 because i knew what he was talking about like what else could he be talking about you get me like so i was just like oh my god i'm gonna have to tell them like and i just sat there on the table and then he's like um what do he say he's like oh let me know when you're ready to tell me what you want to tell me and honestly guys I didn't say anything. I just put my head down and I was just crying. I was just crying and crying. And then he said, okay, you can go into the room now. You can leave now or something like that. Like you can leave or you can go to your room. That's what he told me, I think. And I remember I got up, you know, crying and I went to the room and I was just like, and I was telling my sister like, what the hell? Like I was cussing at her and I was like, how could you tell my mom? Like, how could you tell my parents? Like, it's not your right to tell them. It's my right. Like. You took that away from me like how am i supposed to tell them like now it was just all my stuff okay so the next day right my nobody talked about it the night you know everybody i stayed in my room for the night you know next day i wake up and i'm getting ready for school and it's crazy you guys because i remember exactly what i was wearing that day i was wearing 
my favorite pair of jeans that I had at that time that had like a slit, like two slits going through the knees and my Fruit Loop shirt. It was this Fruit Loop like purple shirt with Fruit Loops on it. I used to love I used to love those type of shirts, but anyways, so I had like a fruit, like a regular tee and it had like fruit loops on it. And I was like, you know, whatever. So I was going, I was getting ready for school and my mom comes into the bathroom and she looks at me and she's like, so you like girls now? And I'm like, no. And then, no, I think she asked me, do you like girls and guys? She's like, so do you like both? That's what she said. Yeah, that's what she asked me. And I was like, no. And I was like, I only like this one girl. I'm not attracted to any girls, uh, to any other girls. This is the only girl that I'm attracted to. Like, and to be honest with you guys, at that moment, that's how I felt. Um, it was crazy because obviously she was my first love. And so at that moment, like at that time in my life, I didn't think that I was going to be attracted to any other female. I thought that, that she was going to be the only one that I was ever attracted to because I've never been attracted to females before. So I'm like, oh, no, she's the only one, mom. And so I'm telling my mom, like, no, she's the only one. Like, I'm, no, like, I'm not attracted to any other girls. Like, I, you know, like, whatever. And you, you mind you, like, I was, I, how can I explain this? I spoke, like, I talked to guys before, you know, but it was never nothing that I can say was ever serious okay and what I mean by that is that like I was super young like in ninth grade 10th grade and you know that's that's what it was I was young and honestly like I'm gonna get on a little personal tell you guys a little in, in a little a little secret of mine but like I've never been um uh, you know, sexual with a guy before. I've never had any type of intercourse with a male before. So just that throws you guys a little hint there. When I was, you know, growing up and like talking to guys, I never, I never wanted to take it there. And it was always very like iffy for me. And I always thought it was really weird because I would talk to guys and I would like get in a relationship with them and I would ignore them. I like I would run away from them. Like I would avoid them at school. Like I literally would have my friends like tell me like, "Oh, is he coming?" Like, "Oh, I need to avoid." Like it was weird, okay? And it's like I would get the guy that I supposedly wanted in my head, and then I would get him and I didn't want him. You know, and I didn't want to be around them. I didn't want to be like like it was weird. And that's when oh, I was in 10th grade and um I was talking to this guy and that's when you know things started to take a turn as to going like towards the phys like being physical with the male and that's when i realized like that's not it for me you know so i it was just little things in my in my life in my in my experiences that i started realizing and that's what got me to the conclusion that i really really liked this girl and i remember that i didn't care about anybody else but this girl okay let me tell you guys that so back to the story L, that's what we're calling her okay she's my first love not quotation marks she was my first love but like uh we were in a relationship okay so you know after i told my mom and like my dad or whatever like my mom see i'm getting sidetracked okay so back to like my mom you know finding out um it was an experience that i had with my family finding out so after like my dad found out and um my mom we didn't really talk about it like i'd never talked about it with my dad and after that um during the process of when i was coming out and like um other things happened and um my parents separated and after that it was just my mom and us you know and it was kind of like a really very crucial time for me um i spent a lot of time out with l um, I didn't want to be home because it was just a very hard situation for me at home. Um, when I came out, my dad didn't really take it very well. Um, I was very close to my dad and I was always his little girl and like just, I think I know it hit him hard and it was just like, whoa, you know, like he didn't know how to react. Like he didn't know how to go about it. He didn't know how to talk to me about it. And my mom didn't either. So we really never had that discussion. And I remember um, my other siblings, I have a little sister and a little brother, and I remember getting bullied by them. And I don't 
I'm not saying this, you know, to make anybody feel some type of way about them. Or Obviously, we were all young and they didn't know how to react to their sister being gay. Obviously, you know, they just didn't. They were just like, what? Like, they were thrown off. Let me just tell you guys that much. So, everybody was thrown off in my family. I'm not even going to sit here and lie. Everybody was thrown off by it. But it's just, um, I received a lot of bullying from my own personal family. Um, I received a lot of from them only because after like mind you me and Elle were in a relationship for like about a year and things got bad between me and her and um, the whole coming out situation because I was already out and Elle didn't want to come out and that's where it complicated things because my family already knew my friends knew but nobody knew about her and at that time, I wanted everybody to know, like I didn't care, I did it. Once my mom found out and she knew who I was and I had accepted myself and I realized like, you have to love yourself and accept yourself for who you are and and just like not worry about what anybody else has to say about you. And I really did that. I After I told her, I really did not care what anybody had to, t had to say about me, like whatsoever. And after that, you know, it's crazy because obviously, you know, she wasn't the only girl that I dated. I accepted myself completely and, you know, I dated other girls and, you know, I have, I dated other people or whatever, you know, gr girls in general, just girls. But, you know, I, I just wanted to make um, this video because I know that a lot of people do have different reactions. Uh, like my ex, um, which is Elle, my first love, she had a very loving reaction and from her family and I remember her mom, uh, rest in peace, she was the most accepting human being that I had in my experience. And to be honest, without her, I don't know how I would have dealt with things. Um, at that time, I really didn't have any communication with my mom because she didn't know how to take it. Um, I was basically, and I think I still am, in my family. Like, literally, my mom has like, what is it? Like, eight sisters? Nine? I don't even know. I think it's like eight sisters or like six sisters and two brothers. So just imagine how humongous my family is. And mind you, they have kids on kids on kids, okay? And I think I was like, I literally was the first one to come out. I don't know if other people have came out. I don't know if they're too scared. <clears throat> That's on them. Sorry, you guys, I'm talking so damn much. My tongue is, my freaking throat is dry. But um, it was like, very very hard for her um at first it was more of like her being selfish because she cared a lot about what people were going to say about her what they were going to say about me like oh her daughter's gay like that's what she worried about and that's what hurt me the most but i just want to take a second and just say that nobody deserves um negative comments nobody deserves to feel like they are an embarrassment to their family i have been um told a lot of negative things about me being gay and i have been bullied about it in my own family household and once again i'm not saying this to trash my family uh because to be honest with you it has made me into the woman that i am and regardless if I know that they don't feel the same way anymore and we have like a great relationship and we talk and it, you know they have they talked to my girlfriend they talked to my other girlfriends that I had in the past like they accepted them and my mom has definitely changed her views and how she is it's completely different now like she is amazing and she's always there for me and my girlfriend and she is just she's just an example of how things do get better. Like it may be really hard when you come out and they might not know how to react at that moment, but just let it take some time and let them take their time because everybody processes things different. And I promise you that your, your mom and your dad will come through and sometimes they don't. And I've seen in many cases um, where they are not supportive and they stop talking to you and all this stuff. And it's kind of crazy, but regardless if it's your mom or your dad or your sister or your brother, if they're toxic, let it go. 
Like, that's one thing I've learned, you know, sometimes family is more toxic than your own friends. And that's okay. As long as you know that you did your part, it shouldn't matter. But back to the point of coming out, I just really wanted to tell you guys a little bit about me and what I've been through. But I just want you guys, for anybody that is having a hard time accepting who they are or having a hard time, like, saying it, verbally saying it, um, I definitely recommend that you just prepare, like mentally kind of, for just negative thoughts be and negative comments is what I mean, because not everybody is going to just be so accepting. But I can tell you one thing, and one thing is that don't fall for that, like, oh, it's a sin to be gay. It's a s like, no, I'm sorry, but however you feel about gay people, we are just like you whether you're straight or gay or whatever you are it's like we should be defined for the person that we are not but what we love or who we love is just how i feel but i just really hope that this video really helps any of you guys that are scared at this moment i hope that you guys know that you're not alone and that we all have our experiences of coming out and everybody deals with it differently and i just want you to know that right now if it's hard for you it's not going to be hard like this forever um, it's so crazy because, um, like just having a different experiences with different people that I've been in relationships in relationships with, it's just like, they can make all the difference, you know, and how things are handled and stuff like that. But like when it comes to, you know, your family, it is very difficult to get somebody to understand. Um, but I, how can I explain this? Like, I just want everybody to, anybody, everybody, anybody that's trying to come out or that, you know, that you guys can do it and you guys will be okay, you know, like, it's so crazy for me because um, I think about it and I talk about it with Nay and I tell her, like, imagine if I would have been very, very weak-minded and by that I mean, like, I let, like, those comments affect me and don't get me wrong, like, it took me a long time to be okay with the things that were said to me and all the comments that were made and just like people staring at me when I walk in the like when I walk down the street even though now it doesn't really happen anymore like gay couples are everywhere so it's more of like oh like it's more on the norm side but like when I was coming out um it was very like you would go hold hands somewhere in public and people would stare at you and so for me, like, I'm not the type of person that goes and shows people, like, not shows people, but, like, uh, PD, like, is into PDA. Like, I don't like showing, like, I like being in my private area and being with my significant other, and I'm not the type that you're going to find on the corner making out with her girlfriend with her freaking hands all on her ass or, like, making out in front of people, like, or kissing. Like, I understand kissing, like, pecs, but you're not going to catch me making out with my girl and the fucking, like, doing some dumb, like, I'm just not that person. I'm not judging anybody that is and, and likes to show PDA. I mean, shit, show that you love your person or whatever. All power to you, but I am more private and I am not like that. So, um, it's just made me, and I think it's also that, that's why, that's my point, is that just because I always feel like people look at me, and one thing about me is that I go off vibes and I can feel your vibe like I can as soon as I meet you and I come like if I hang out with you and like it's like I feel I feel the type of person that you are and so I go by that you know and so for me I just don't like people staring at me that's the main thing about me and I noticed that it started when I would go and be with my girlfriend and we would go do activities or my ex in the past when I had came out and like with my other relationships as well I would just go out and do things and I always noticed that people would stare and so it kind of just makes me a little sad that it made me that way but it also I'm not I'm very private in that way in that way let me be honest I'm really really private in that way and I like intimacy so I just like things to be intimate but you guys, I just I just want you guys to know that there are people out there that you can talk to, you know? Um, but I'm just probably going to cut all this. And I wanted to skip back to, um, like, my, my experience. Um, it's always very, very helpful to have somebody to talk to. Somebody that you feel doesn't judge you. Somebody that's really there for you. 
it's just somebody that you can you can tell everything to and i think that that's what helped me get through a lot and it was also what made me very strong because she passed away you know um my ex's mom she passed away and i remember that being honestly like the worst time for me um because believe it or not me and my ex were after we turned a year of being together without everybody without anybody knowing um i we broke up due to her not coming out and so you know i was so close to her mom um it was on another level and i think it was because she was my mom during my coming out time um i didn't really have a relationship like as i mentioned with my mom so at that time we were really really distant and it took her a really long time to get to where she is now so at that time um she was the one that i would go to um i would go over her house even when me literally me and l were not together and i mean we literally had broken up and she would be gone and i would go over to her house and I would sit there and I would talk to her mom for like hours and just open up to her and tell her everything that was going on in my house um, as far as like my mom not accepting me and just all the insults that I would receive. I received a lot of insults um, that kind of uh, linger in my head sometimes and I don't forget them, but I use them as strength and I use them to remind me that I got through that and that nothing's gonna tear me down and but back to her um if it wasn't for her i really don't know how she how she how i would be right now but it's so crazy because after she passed away it was it was really really hard for me um i didn't have anybody to talk to um i kind of i i went through it for a long time but um, I dealt with it and she, I realized that she made me strong um, because she would always tell me, she's like, she would always say, oh, it's going to be okay. Um, she's, your mom just needs time to process and she's going to, she's going to find her way back to you and she's going to, you know, she's going to accept you. You just need to give her time. And I remember her saying that and it's crazy because we, we do need time sometimes to process things and everybody's different and I do understand why my mom needed time to process things um, but I'm glad that now it's so different and so I just wanted to you know tell you guys about my story it's really really like not into too much detail because I feel like I would be sitting here for an hour telling you guys but I I had a pretty crazy time coming out it wasn't easy let me tell you guys it was not easy um only because you can't really talk to a lot of people about being in a relationship with a girl because they won't understand. And it was kind of hard for me to talk to my siblings about like if I ever have like problems and still to this day, honestly, like it's just not the same. Um, I feel like it should be, but um, I don't know why it's, it's very awkward to talk about um, like certain things with my with my siblings and my mom uh because i feel like they don't understand me and i feel like they won't ever understand me and it's kind of like you know how when people like oh you're you're gay or like oh my god i can never eat pussy ill like you know people make comments and it's not even for them to be hateful like oh my god you eat pussy like ill or something like that but that's just how it is because they don't they don't you know like girls or you know they don't you get what i'm saying so i can't really open up i don't even know if it's on that maturity level or what it is but like it's very easy for me to open up to uh friends about stuff like that but um <clears throat> just find anybody that you feel comfortable with is my point find a really really good support system because that's all it takes um it takes one person um to be there and help you through it and let you know that you're not alone and i hope that i can be this person for any of you guys that right now you're probably going through the confusion phase of like trying to accept yourself you know and trying to understand what all these feelings are and why you're feeling this way and 
just know that you're not alone. You know, um, people are going through this every day along right with you and it does get better guys um i just really hope that for anybody anybody out there that wants to come out and is scared i know that things are hard um i know that it's not easy to come out but i know that it's even harder to stay inside and hide who you are um i just really hope that this helps a lot of people i really hope that it brings that light into your life that you need so that you can get that bravery to come out and be who you are and love who you want to love. Because one thing is for sure is that we only live one life. And I would not want any of you guys to be living a lie. I would not want any of you guys to be scared to be who you are and love who you love. Like that is, it's horrible. Like, you know, it's just like, what kind of life is that? living your life and not being who you are it's just not living and i wouldn't want that for anybody you know so i kind of <laughs> i just had to make this video it's very very personal um i really don't talk about these things but i will be opening up even more um nay's coming out story is probably gonna come up next um but i really hope that you guys enjoyed this video i hope that you guys can just take in my experience and know that it's not always easy, but one thing I will say is that it's totally worth it. Like I get to be free and my family knows who I love and everybody knows who I love and, and I don't have to feel any way, any bad way about it. It's just, you know, I feel like self-love is the most important thing and I never really knew that until I got my heart broken and I realized that I was giving more and loving that person more than I was loving myself. And I just want everybody to know that love, love is, is so important. Like self-love is the most important thing. And I've definitely learned this this year. Like even like last year is what I mean, you know, since it's already 2020, like guys, 2020 is crazy, okay? but. In like last year, it, it just took so much. And sometimes it does take a lot for you guys to realize like, damn, self-love is where it's at. But everybody has a different process. But I really hope you guys like my video because I talked my freaking, I just talk so much guys, I could talk for forever. But go ahead and comment down below guys. Um, Let me know your guys' stories, I'm down to, you know like give you guys advice i'm down to talk to you guys like i will be responding you know um i want to hear about your guys's experiences i hope that this definitely makes your day i hope that i know that things are really really crazy right now in the world and i just really want to encourage you guys to self-love right now and just self-love right now just like you know work on loving yourself that's the most important thing that i can tell anybody um but I really hope that everybody has a good day and just stay safe guys you know a lot is going on right now um if i didn't mention that like just a couple seconds ago <laughs> but like seriously a lot is going on right now and i want to be somebody that opens up certain things to you guys and by that i mean like certain i just want you guys to be informed i want you guys to be woke with me um go ahead you guys do your research uh, there's a lot going on right now that is so much bigger than the flu that they're talking about. And that's as far as I'm gonna take it on that um, because I've been talking for forever, but just go ahead and educate yourselves guys because that's what they don't want. And I can guarantee you that once you open your eyes to the reality of what life is and how crazy this thing is and not by, and I don't mean the virus, I'm not talking about the virus. I'm talking about the thing, the picture behind the whole virus situation. But anyways, you guys, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Go ahead and subscribe to our channel. Um, our social uh, media, uh, like Instagram and TikTok, all that's going to be on the description down below. Um, we just made a new TikTok and we uh, put a video on there. It's pretty cool. You know, it's fucking, it's actually pretty freaking funny. But um, go check that out, guys. And, you know, leave me the comments down below. Let me know what kind of videos you guys want to see so that we can film them. Um, but stay tuned, guys, because more is coming. And I appreciate the love, guys. I really hope that everybody has a great day today. All right, guys. Have a great day. See you later.